If you like all things coding and creating, then you're going to love this spectacular episode of Juiced TV. Agent Eli is on a special coding mission with his fellow secret school agents. Sebastian and the team are building some superhero Lego creations. And Miles discovers the epic world of robotics. Hi everyone, my name's Eleni. Welcome to Juice TV. This is going to be a spectacular episode. Hmm. That's better. This is going to be spectacular. Just needed a little recoding. What is recoding, you ask? We'll find out in this episode. But right now, let's discover something unique. It's been seven years in the making. That something is me. It's time to get to know your super awesome host, seven-year-old Eleni. She loves pandas. When she's not kicking goals on the soccer field, you'll catch her flossing up a storm. And her favourite colour is rainbow. I love cheerleading and I cheer for fag. This is my favourite me. I love doing stunts. Bridges and cutwheels are my favourite. My favourite movie is Johnny English because it's very funny. My favourite word is Mum. Yes, Lenny. Love you. Aww. My proudest moment is getting my golden certificate. I got it for good behaviour at school. If anybody could come to my party, it would be my BFF, Ava. My favourite song is Baby Sucker Did It. Baby Sucker Did It, Baby Sucker Did It, Baby Suck. Mommy Sucker Did It, Mommy Sucker Did It, Mommy Suck. Daddy Sucker Did It, Daddy Sucker Did It, Daddy Suck. Now let's catch up with Agent Eli. Hi, my name's Agent Eli. Can't talk right now. Agent Fury isn't working. Why won't you work? Having some trouble with your sidekick, are you? Yeah. Maybe he just needs some recoding. What's recoding? Coding is like the, the language for robots. It allows us to tell them what to do and how to do it. And sometimes we tell them the wrong things to do. So when we recode something, we're giving it new things to do so it does it properly. We've been studying it for years at university along with my fellow agent here. You're the perfect team that can join me in my mission. Meet Agent Norton. And Agent Anna. They're from the QUT, Science and Engineering Widening Participation Program. Their mission inspires students to spread the love of STEM. Where well, you might see coding in everyday life. Wow, there's so many places where you see coding. A really big one is in video games. I play video games in, on coding on my brother's iPad. 
that he got from our school in Bundy. That's so cool. Yeah, I love coding on my iPad. I play lots of video games that can teach me how to code even better. What's the coolest thing that you can go sphere to do? Well, I personally like the fact that you can make it move along depending on which direction you want it to go, and you can also make it change colour, which I think is pretty cool. How fast can um, Fira roll? Spiros can roll faster than humans can walk, and we can make it speed past you. Agent Norton, is there different kinds of coding? There sure is. There's different types of coding for different problems. So sometimes when the agents need to do different things with robots, they have to use different languages to do that. What kind of careers can you get with coding? There are so many careers you can get with coding. So when you go to university, you can study things like making games, uh, making robots, making different types of programs for people so their lives can be easier. There's so many different things you can do with coding. Tell me about your mission today. Our mission today is to spread the word of coding and also increase the love of IT all over Queensland. Sounds good. Let's get coding. I'm joined by other secret agents. Everyone's working together as a team. We have to use our brains, not just the iPad. We have to use our brains to control it to A to B to C. And then the C goes back to A. We're trying to get the ball to go that way, but it keeps going that way. We're trying to get the ball to move around the whole triangle with the iPad. It's pretty easy. Yeah, nice work. Targets acquired. Thank you to the QUT agents for helping me recode Biro. I'm Agent Eli. Mission complete. I did it! I coded my own robot! Hello, I am Robot Eleni. Thank you from the bottom of my hard drive for creating me, human Eleni. <laughs> well, well, Eleni, what's the next story? Coming up next is Sebastian and his superhero team making some super awesome creations. Cool, let's check it out. There are heroes inside all of us, ready to leap out and do what is right whenever we are called upon. And every hero needs the right gadgets to get the job done. Initialize master build. Here you go, my sir. I need a macaroni. Yes, we did it. Pretty cool, huh? Why did you build this thing with only one seat? Uh, because last I checked, I only had one butt. Today, the team from Bricks for Kids will be aiding our heroes, giving them the knowledge and tools they need to master build their own crime-fighting utilities. Hi, I'm the best in... I like Lego so much, and I like Batman. Heroes, assemble! And, um, assemble. I'm about to build a bat jet. Hey, I'm Kelsey, and I'm working on a bat signal. G'day, my name is Leah, and I'm, being, I'm working on a grappling hook. G'day, my name's James, and I'm working on a grappling hook with Batman. Hello, I'm making a bat hook. And my name is Edwin. I'm Pony. I'm burning a haunted house. Armed with only their creativity and lots and lots and lots of bricks, our team get to work. They prove that heroes aren't born, they are made. And so is all their stuff. Master build complete. Zombies are 
attack. With their crime fighting tools ready, it's time to spring into action. <laughs> Watch out, crime. you to be a part of Juice TV. We're always on the lookout for hosts, interviewers, behind the scenes helpers and mini producers. You can be any age, you don't have to have any experience. How much easier could it be? To find out the next time we're filming at the hospital, just head to our website, juicedtv.com.au or our Facebook page. For loads of fun to break up your stay in hospital, join the Juice crew. Send us an email at hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to any of the volunteers wearing green shirts throughout the hospital and let them know you want to be involved in the one and only Juice TV. That Lego was awesome. I love building houses, cars and roller coasters. Let's talk superheroes. My favourite is Wonder Woman. She's so cool because she has an invisible jet. And our next story has some flying heroes of a different kind. Whoop whoop. Way out in the sticks. The middle of nowhere. Hundreds of kilometres away from civilization. Not a place that you want to be stuck in if you need medical help. Unfortunately, there are people who do find themselves in these sticky situations. Like this Aussie battler. Me, Al Bacho. A bushwalker lost in whoop whoop, desperate for water and suffering an allergic reaction. That's scary stuff. Hey, I'm Miles. And today, I'm hanging out with Al Bacho. I know what you're thinking, but he was just stranded in the middle of nowhere. No, it wasn't me who found him. The closest thing I've ever done to a search and rescue is playing Pokemon Go. Pizza. Come on, let's go and discover who did. <laughs> I'm at the Australian Centre for Robotic Vision. When you're ready, my friend Shelly will take us to see Dr. Jonathan Roberts. He is a human, but he's really smart. <gasps> That's pretty awesome. There are tech experts here helping those like Outback Joe. One visionary robot at a time. Welcome, Miles. Good to meet you. To meet Thanks, you Pepper. Too. It's my pleasure. So, Dr. Roberts, I hear that you're a bit of an expert in robotics. Well, that's what some people say. So, yes, I work here at the Australian Centre for Robotic Vision and we do all sorts of research on robots and trying to make them see. How do robotics help with search and rescues? So robots can be used to help find people when they get lost. So in search and rescue missions, you really want to send out a robot that's got some vision system, some eyes, that actually goes and finds people and explores. So we've developed a competition called the UAV Challenge, and we invite teams from all over the world to enter, and they win lots of money if they can complete the mission, and we get them to go and find this character who I think you've already met, Outback Joe. Yep. So their mission is to go and find Outback Joe and land an aircraft near him, or in some of the competitions, drop a medical package next to him. How many teams have actually found Outback Joe? Oh, well, that's a very good question. So the competition ran from 2007 to 2014, and in all that time, only five teams ever successfully found Outback Joe and kind of delivered a package to him. If people just want to do robotics, what's your advice? 
So there's loads of ways to get involved in robotics. Most schools now have some sort of robotics clubs or they do a bit of robotics teaching. Um, the government here locally in Queensland is going to make robotics a compulsory subject, so that's great. So all kids will eventually become experts in robotics and people should follow the UAV challenge. So if they go to uavchallenge.org on the web, they'll be able to follow the competition and it's happening in a few weeks' time, so that would be a great thing to do. And you really just go and visit local universities and the, most universities now have a robotics lab and most of them will show people around and it's a great way to sort of learn you know, what you might want to do at school and then end up at university studying it. So Miles, have you ever um, built a robot or flown a drone? I have flown a drone before. I have two drones. Wow. A little house drone which has a camera on it and just an outback like a big drone which just flies around in the park. Fantastic. And how often do you go and fly? Oh, not that often. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Oh, you'll get better. Just practice. What inspired you to start robotics? Was it your interest in Star Wars? Yes, it was definitely my interest in Star Wars. When the first Star Wars movie came out, I was seven years old and I was obsessed with R2-D2, so I decided I would just have to get involved in robotics and end up building robots, so it's all because of Star Wars. I'm actually kind of surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show me how some of the UAVs work? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go down to our lab and I'll show you. Okay, Miles, this is the Avionics Lab, and I'm going to introduce you to Reese and Aaron, and they competed in this year's UAV Challenge. Let's go and meet them. Okay. <laughs> so what's going to happen here is that we're going to do a little simulation of the challenge. We've got Outback Joe, and Reese is going to fly one of our small UAVs. Cool. I also have a job and I struggle to fly it. It can be tricky. We've all got to start somewhere though. This flying stuff's pretty cool, but there's some other really cool stuff in this room. They have it with the help of robotics. Turns out being lost here might not have to be so scary after all. It was really nice to meet you. I hope you will put in a good word for me and my friends when you talk to everyone back at the hospital. I've had so much fun today. This is Miles, signing out. Robots, superheroes, Lego, drones. I told you this was going to be spectacular. Here's something else I wanted to tell you. When you come to hospital, don't be scared. The people are very nice and the food is very good. Well, that's all the tech we have time for. I'm already. Catch you later. I did it. I cracked it. <laughs> Thank you to the Kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm Miles, and today. Oh, no. <laughs> what was the name? I forgot. <laughs> How fast can you make Sphere go? We can make it go faster than humans can. <laughs> Remember guys, it's so easy to be a part of Juice TV. Whether you want to be a host, help us out behind the scenes with filming, or decide what goes into each episode, let us know you want to be involved by sending an email to hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to one of the friendly volunteers throughout the hospital in the green shirts. Also head to our website and Facebook page for all the updates about what we're filming at the hospital.